Yo, Rockstars, just sitting here chilling with Patrick at hey. Eventide. How you doing? AES New York City 2019. And I guess this is the real deal. I guess we're already going here. We're here. We're full speed ahead AES. All right, cool, Rockstars. So we are looking at the H9000 from Eventide. And this is, uh, you could kind of say this is one of Patrick's babies. Okay? This is my baby. Yeah, so, you know, Patrick is responsible for making sure this thing works and sounds and looks amazing and makes your records amazing. But um, we wanted to just show you a really cool feature. But what are we looking at right now on the screen? So we have an empty uh, effects chain slot. So each effects chain can do up to four algorithms and we're running it through uh, just this profit. All I'm doing with the profit is just a simple piano sound. Everybody knows what a piano sounds like. So I want to transform that. So what I'm gonna do first is, hey, what's up? I'm gonna pop in Galaxy Borders, that algorithm I showed you. It's just one algorithm. All right, here we go. So all I have to do is go into Emote and type up Galaxy, and it pops up right there in my viewfinder. Yeah, make sure you're showing us on the screen where things are happening. Exactly, so you see that? And it will just basically route it automatically. So I'm already routed, but I want these three and four, an analog one and two as well, so I can just drag and drop that, that easy. So now... It looks cool, man. It looks like you're playing... Um Missile Command. It is. <laughs> it is Missile Command. It's a video game. It's so addicting. But anyway, so here's our simple piano sound with Galaxy Borders in it. You'll hear it right away. Alright. And that's just one press. I'll show you too. I'll, I'll mix it down a little bit through emo. So I'll adjust the overall effects chain mix. And then I'll just, so you can hear the dry path too, and here's what that sounds like. And I'll keep going. And All right, so you hit, you basically hit a very short piano note, and then um, it just like the H9000 just picks up on it right away. Yeah. And starts like creating the cool effect. Yeah, and we have more room, so we have three more algorithms, even though that's already a pretty cinematic, you know, effects. We can add more to that. Should we add some more effects? Do you want let's to try do it? Out? Let's do it. All right, let's we'll do it. So, uh, let's see. What should we add first? All right, so let's look at it. Show us what we got. We may need a little bit of an introduction to like what we're looking at here. Oh, right on. So what we're looking at here is like that's the sound. Like that's Galaxy right. Borders. Right that's, this is Galaxy Borders. We can even go inside this thing and Woo! dive oh. deep. And I'm not now, even going to play around with the parameters. And because that's I already considered like an it. algorithm. Exactly. That's one algorithm. Gee, all right. So hold on, man. Uh, I'm slipping around on the camera here. Because what I, what I understand about the H9000 is we're talking about four different effects units, and each one of them has four different algorithms inside it. Yes. And that algorithm that you played us alone already sounds like mind blown. Like, oh, yeah. On its own. That is like the drop the mic algorithm. I mean, that's just yeah, one. So you have like 15 more algorithms. We can have 15 of those at the same time. But for the sake of designing an effect chain that's unique to you and unique to your sound, let's plop in different algorithms. Let's All see right. what we can get. Well, the cool thing about that is like if you drop the mic once, you've really dropped it like 50 million times. <laughs> it just like keeps going. Each side. Let's going to add some other algor algorithms to this. Yeah. Now, is this the four effects chains or is this the no, four this algorithms? Is, this, these are just your IOs. So each effects chain has 32 channels of IO possibilities. So for example, right. a Dante interface can run up to 32 channels, right? You can have eight. You can have four algorithms with eight ins, eight outs, all in one effects chain. Right, and this is the four algorithms, or this is one algorithm is, with thirty-two inputs. Yeah, so these are just your one effects chain with thirty-two inputs. Okay. So we don't have wow. to route to any of those at all, but we can just start like going in series or parallel, or like parallel in different IOs within that effects chain. All right, chain. well, there's plenty to like absorb and think about as far as that's totally. concerned. Totally. So I'll probably have to come back on that issue. Totally. But, Groovy. So, so we got our algorithm here. Right on. So what I want to do now is I want to add, listen, you want to try to add like a really lush reverb into this parallel? You know I do, and I wanted to just shoot more video of you at the same time. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> we're going to go put some stuff in parallel. All right. How about black hole? The famous black hole. All right, so you just type black hole down Yeah, I type black hole. hole, same thing there. Oh, that's sort of the search window, so you can just exactly. search for Exactly. You can search it for your effect type, or what I like to do is I just like to type it in, and then it kind of just pops up and narrows yeah. it down. So we now have black hole here, nice. and I want to route that in parallel. So all I have to do, man, is I have to like drag and drop my connections, 
and it's very simple and easy to understand that way. Ah, and so then those inputs one and two are going to both of these effects units at the same time. Right, exactly. So now we have a black I hole call in parallel. Effects units. Those are two algorithms. algorithms. So now we can go inside black hole and mix it all the way up to 100%. Only because it's parallel, we can just lower the output gain. So now we have black hole. And Rockstar's black hole is like, it's a whole plugin. Yeah. That you can install and use in your Pro Tools mix. Or you could have it like be this little part of your whole totally. configuration and right just to here say, inside. like the fidelity is going to be a little bit like better on the 9000 because of the analog converters in this yeah. side of this thing. Yeah, yeah, I can believe that. So, so far, two algorithms. Here's what that sounds like. I knew you would know my favorite algorithm. Oh, I know I me. <laughs> Here we go. We're dropping a phaser in, and if you notice, it'll automatically connect those. Boom. Connected. I didn't have to do any other connection work okay. if it's in series. Now, how does it know that it was supposed to put it in series instead of underneath the black hole or, or Oh, you know, because the, they're both that. being summed to analog one and two down here, so yeah. both these two parallel algorithms are still going out of the same stereo outs. So if I drag an algorithm under that, it'll automatically just assume that you want it to be in series on these both parallels. But if, if not, you want the phaser somewhere else, can you just drag it and drop it? Totally. Yeah, yeah. I can just move it here. Boom, ah, move cool. it. So I can those, delete like, those, those connections. Those arrows are like slots for loading. Exactly. Or I can I copy you. like a, you know. So we can go inside this thing. I want to just change some parameters around, raise the feedback a little bit, and lower the mix within the algorithm. Okay, so our sound now is this. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. And just as a, it's still going, it's such a lush thing. But just as a reference, let's go bypass this thing. So I'll click global bypass down here. Okay, and here's where we started. I definitely have some cheap keyboards in my studio that don't sound good on their own. You'll sound fantastic It's going to sound amazing. Yeah. I also have some old vintage stuff that I think will sound like really cool to just yeah. run like some old analog synths through this. Yeah, and get oh, like totally. Totally wild sound. Yeah, honestly, the gnarlier the sound you put in through the 9000, the better it kind of comes out just because of the nature of like sound design, you know? You know, and so a buddy of mine, Nick Lobel, a great engineer down in Nashville, he was showing me just the other day, he borrowed my H9 pedal. Nice. And um, and I have a r old Roland keyboard too, and he just ran that through the H9 and like came up with this whole great sound. And the H9000 is going to be like having as like kind yeah. of as many H9s as, as I wanted want. to try yeah. out. So also yeah, like you once. can have up to 16 algorithms at the same time and like you said the H9 is already powerful. Yeah. That has 50 algorithms. This thing has 2,000 algorithms. All right. All well, the way back, you know. I'll do, you know, one for, for every year until uh, 0 BC. Yeah, let's do it all. Awesome. All right, cool, man. <laughs> Thanks, Patrick. Totally awesome hanging with you. I only have a left hand right here. But um, we'll be back for more videos from Eventide. Rockstars, let us know what you want to know more about, and we'll make sure to shoot it for you this week at AES New York Woo! City. We're here. Hey, where should the rock stars go to check out Eventide and learn more about this stuff? Go to eventideaudio.com. Also follow us on social media. We'll have everything you need to know and you can reach out to me personally through social media. I'll answer any question you guys got. Awesome. Hopefully you guys could hear this uh, iPhone mic well enough and we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Later.